and welcome to my channel. My name's April. So today I am so excited because guess what? The motherload shipment is here. That's right. I have June 2023's Bring Back My Bars in my hand. I am so excited because a lot of these scents are new to me scents. I think I've only smelled four out of these 20 bars. So I'm excited. Um, these will be available for purchase on June 1st. You can go down to my website or your consultant's website. Um, so I can't wait anymore, you guys. Let's start start sniffing. Okay, I'm um, gonna just lift this open. So excited. Oh, okay, it did come with two ice packs and they are totally melted. Um, shipping was actually really fast. I think I placed my order on Monday and it's Thursday today and it's here. Gotta do my little peeky peeky. And okay, I'm gonna just dive right in. Um, gonna start with the top and beach. So, oh, this is cool. This is one of the bars that's a different color than the cover, nice. Okay, scent description, papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut. So this is a new to me scent and this is one that I thought would be one of my top fives. Really quickly, um, I thought beach, Let's see, happy birthday, plum and white woods, watermelon patch, and white sands would be my favorite. So let's see, <laughs> okay. Oh, ooh, wow, super, super tropical. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. Papaya, I definitely get papaya. I really don't think I get honeydew. I do get some coconut. I think honeydew, maybe it's giving it a little bit more sweetness to it. But I would say heavy on the papaya, heavy on the coconut, definitely straight up fruity scent. And this is fairly strong on cold. I'd say it's at least a medium. So I'm excited to give this one a warm. I do like this one a lot. So this one is not disappointing me on cold. And that is beach. Really nice for you tropical fruity lovers out there. Okay, I'm just gonna dig in here. Uh, next, fuzzy blanket. And it is a beautiful light violet colored wax. Scent description. Snuggle up to the soft scent of lavender, sandalwood, and sweet honeysuckle. So this is also a new to me scent. I think it's fairly popular with a lot of people, hence why it came back and I bring back my bar. Oh, oh, okay. Very laundry-esque, but it's like a soft laundry scent. Um, this reminds me a lot of Snuggle Up but maybe, maybe a little sweeter and maybe a little bit more girly, but this is pretty. Um, it smells maybe about a light on cold. So we'll see how it does warm. Um, I'm actually pleased with this on cold because I am not the biggest lover of those laundry type of scents, but this is actually soft and subtle and pretty. Oh, I like that. Um, I would say definitely get like that lavender, but it is a very sweet lavender. I would not say herbal at all. Um, sandalwood and sweet honeysuckle. Yes, I, yes, I do, I do see that. Um, it's not really a floral scent though. It's just like added sweetness because honeysuckles are typically a very sweet smelling flower. And the sandalwood, I think just kind of gives it a cozy feel. So that's really pretty. Um, I'm excited to warm that one. That was one I was a little concerned about, but it's really nice. Okay, just gonna dive in. Cashmere pear. Pretty kind of cream colored wax. So, scent description. Slip into a sensual white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm ginger as a blend or a blend as smooth and luxurious as a fine spun cashmere. New to me scent. I am thinking I'm gonna like this one. We'll see. Ooh, okay. Oh, I like the back. 
The back is like that cashmere pear. On top, I feel like I get that red ginger. It's not like overly sharp though, but it's there. But this is like blended together really, really nicely. Mm, it's pretty. Mm. Yeah, I'd say this is like a light medium on cold. It's beautiful. So I like that one a lot on cold. I'm excited to give this one a warm. I think this is gonna make like a beautiful bedroom kind of a scent. Really pretty. Um, I like how everything is just melded together really nicely. All right, next one. Love and Kisses Mini. Such a pretty bubblegum pink colored wax and that is such a cute package cover. Um, also new to me scent. So scent description. The sweetest girl is the one you never forget. And this fragrance bursting with bright red berries, fresh apricot and creamy vanilla captures her everlasting charm. Okay, I'm excited about this one because I like those fruity, girly kind of scents. Oh. Okay, very, very light. It is girly. Okay. It's super, super light. Uh, let's see. Red berries, okay. I get a little bit of the red berries, but mostly I think I'm getting like creamy vanilla and apricot. Yeah, definitely creamy vanilla and apricot. Little bit of that red berry. It's pretty, but man, it is super duper light. So hopefully it's gonna perform. Hopefully I'll be able to smell it because it is pretty, but just super, super light. All right, next one. Plum and White Woods, new to me scent. And this is one that I had on my list that I think I'm going to love. All right, let's see here. Scent description, sweet raspberry preserves and damson plum weave through vanilla orchid. The only thing that might be scary is a vanilla orchid, but I've heard so many good things about it. I think it's gonna be okay. Oh my gosh. Top of the list for me. Wow. Wow, okay. So my friend Kimberly, she loves this scent and I can see why. I do get like that sweet, juicy, beautiful plum. I get like a vanilla and like maybe very, very subtle, sweet, light, airy kinds of woods. Oh man, this is so pretty. Um, I would say it's very body care. Definitely um, not like a fruity scent. It's, it's, it's body care, perfumey, very, very feminine. Um, it smells like a solid medium on cold. Oh man, that is beautiful. Uh, yes, had a feeling I would love this one and I do. So I cannot wait to warm that. I'm so excited about that scent. Okay, next. Okay, this is one I have smelled before. Painted leaves. And it's just, you know, a brownish orange, burnt orange colored wax. So scent description, wander through blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. So this one is really not a favorite of mine. Um, it's very woodsy. I, I'm a hit and miss kind of girl when it comes to woody scents and this one is just, it's a little out there for me. Okay, yeah, um, it's, it's nice in the sense of it's super duper fall. So if you like those fresh, crisp morning air, leaves, um, very, very fall. You're gonna probably like this one. You have to like woodsy kinds of scents. Um, this is the one, one of those bars, and I don't know if anybody else, you know, experiences this, but sometimes you get like that taste in your mouth when you smell it. I can taste this bar. It's super strong. Yeah, it was a good performer. I do remember that, um, but it's just not a personal favorite of mine. But obviously, a lot of people love this one because it came back, and that is Painted Leaves. All right, I'm gonna dig in here. 
ghostly greetings. Okay, I have smelled this one before, but it was like an old, old bar. So we'll see how it does with a new pour. All right, let's see. It says spooky black plum, spiced berry, and a dash of bourbon are brewed in a cauldron and ready to beckon you in. So it's very dark. I do remember that. Yep. Yep. Deep, dark, rich berries. And you do get like a little bit of spice but it's not like cinnamon, it's um, it's just like very fall, dark, deep, almost like maybe cardamom, is that how you say it? I don't know, kind of like that kind of a spice. Yeah. So this one is not a favorite of mine, but again, a lot of you guys like this one, so ghostly greetings. And of course, helicopter in the background, yay! It's not a video, you know, a sensey video without some kind of random noise or dropping things. All right, next one. Sweet pea and vanilla. So this is one that I have smelled before and it's really, really pretty. And it was in my sensey clip for a hot minute. All right. Sensi says, ambiance of raspberries and sweet pea petals with vanilla. And yes, you do get all of those notes. This is a beautiful and it is a good performer. It is so strong. Mm. You definitely get like that sweet peas, like sweet berries and vanilla, lots and lots of vanilla. And it's all blended together really well. You don't get like too much of one scent. It's like all kind of equal parts. It is beautiful and it is a strong performer. Um, I think I took it out of my club because I had like a huge stock up before I added it to club and I was just having a hard time getting through all the bars, but um, I think I'm down to three bars. So this one might be going into my Sensi Club again because I do really, really like the scent. Oh, it's gorgeous. That is sweet pea van and vanilla. And this was available not that long ago and bring back my bar. It was in like 2021, so yeah not that old of a, old of a bar. <laughs> okay, next one is Cherry Vanilla. Super nice pop of cherry red color. The packaging is super cute too. Okay, Sensi says, a delightful swirl of candy, cherry, and sugared almonds folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream. This one intrigues me because I love bakery scents, but I'm super, super picky about cherry scents. Um, if there's any vibe of cough syrup, cherry smell, I don't want it. So hopefully this is like that really nice candied cherry, kind of like in maraschino sugar cookie. So let's see. Oh, okay. So the top, the top is more of like that kind of candied cherry smell. So I like that. The bottom, I'm getting something on the bottom and I'm not sure what I think of it. It's almost like, almost like, like a nutty kind of a smell, but there are no nut. Oh no, there are the sugared almonds. I'm smelling the sugared almonds. Okay, okay, this makes sense now. Yeah. Okay. I think I like this one. I think I'm gonna to have to warm it to know for sure. I have a feeling this is gonna be a love it or a hate it for me. Yeah. So I like the cherry note that's in it. The sugared almonds, I do like that. Um, maybe it's the white chocolate ice cream that's coming off maybe a little different for me. So I'm not sure. I'm gonna to have to warm this one. Um, but I do see the potential that this one might be a real like of mine. So we'll see. Um, it's also very light, <laughs> which is surprising because cherry scents are usually really strong. So that's kind of throwing me off a little bit. So, okay, this is gonna be, a, I don't know. I don't know what I think of that one. Uh, cherry vanilla. 
If you have worn that before, let me know in the comments below um, what you think of it and does it get stronger because that smells pretty light. Uh, okay, Harbor's Edge. Nice, pretty, muted blue colored wax, like a blue gray. Now, since he says, beach grass, flowering raspberry, and northern oak fern sway amid crashing waves, churning and surging a salty musk. This is a new to me scent. Um, I don't think I'm gonna like this one because it's like that salty sea air vibe that's kind of freaking me out, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, the back is a little bit better. I smell like, I feel like I'm getting like lemon in on the back, but like tons of salty sea air on the top. Um, beach grass, flowering raspberry, I don't get that. Northern oak fern, salty musk. I mean, like the salty sea air is most predominant for me. So yeah. Not a favorite of mine, um, but we'll see how it does on warm. I'll maybe warm it in my bathrooms. Um, that is Harbor's Edge. All right, next. Churro Churro. I am excited about this one. Nice kind of tan churro colored wax. Very befitting of its name. Now, since he says, baked pastry sprinkled with sugar, cin cinnamon sugar, captures that heavenly churro charm. Well, you had me at the cinnamon sugar. Oh my gosh. I freaking love this bar. Wow. Okay, so this is what fried ice cream aspires to be. This hands down is way better than fried ice cream because you really do get like that pastry note in it. And the cinnamon sugar, it's like bakery cinnamon sugar, equal parts of both. So good. Oh my gosh. All right. This is my favorite so far. Wow. Churro, churro. And I think a lot of people, I don't know if they say it's light. I think I remember people saying they thought it was light, but it smells like a solid medium to me on cold. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, that's so good. Love that. That is churro churro. This one is for sure going into my club. I can already tell you that now. Love that one. Okay, watermelon patch. An oldie but a goodie for me. I love this bar. So Scentsy says, sweet, fine, ripened watermelon. And I can tell you right now, it smells like a Jolly Rancher watermelon candy. Oh yeah. This is so good. I love this one. Yeah. This is a good performer. And it's just like that candied watermelon Jolly Rancher. Oh, it's so good. Uh, this is great on its own. Great as a mixer. Mix it with lemon sorbet and it's like watermelon lemonade. So, so good. I already know this one is going into my club again. Or actually into my club because... I didn't put it in my club last time it was available. So yeah, that one's going in. <laughs> All right, next is white out. Um, I like how it's the white colored wax with a pretty blue colored top. Also a new to me scent. Now, since he says, exhilarating blast of cool peppermint and sweet golden apple blanketed over frosty winter pine. So, I kind of think I'm gonna like this one because I do like minty scents, but we'll see. Oh, oh, I like this a lot. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, that's so pretty. It's definitely like a minty fresh air. So it's like the peppermint is there, but there's like a burst of fresh air too. Oh, that's nice. What else? There's like a fruitiness to it. Golden, sweet golden apple. I do definitely get that. And winter pine. Don't know if I really detect like a pine note out of this. But man, this is a good scent. So bravo everyone who voted for this one. I like this a lot. Um, smells to be 
on the verge of a light medium. So not super strong, but it's not like super light either. So kind of in the middle, I'd say a light plus to a medium light. Oh, really pretty, really nice. Um, really happy about this scent, so I'm excited. And I will say too, like there were a lot of scents in here that I don't know if they just haven't been around for a really long time, but it was hard looking up videos on like what people thought of some of these scents. So I don't know. Okay, moving on. Happy birthday. All right, I already know I'm gonna love this one. Um, it is a new to me scent, but I love bakery. So let's see, Scentsy says, where is it? Oh, a candy-licious confection of sparkling sugar, fluffy whipped cream, and vanilla extract. I love me a good cake scent. Ooh, yes. Oh my gosh. All right, this, to me, to my nose, on cold at least, is stronger than uh, birthday wishes. Oh my. Okay, I get like everything in this. I get the cake. I get the frosting. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Mm. Um, it smells like a medium too. Yeah, like this is, this is so yummy. Um, I can't wait to warm that one. This is for sure going into my club. I can already tell. I love it. All right. Next, Hemingway. And it's kind of like a burnt red rustic kind of a color. This is a new to me scent and I'm a little worried about it. <laughs> okay. Scentsy says rich ripe apples and warm woody accents of sandalwood and cedar with hints of spice. So cedar, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of cedar. Um, I do like apples and like spices, so we'll see. Okay. This is actually really nice. I get mostly the apple. I do get some of the spices and it's like warm spices. It's not just like cinnamon. It's like maybe nutmeg and maybe allspice, just different warm spices in here. And I do get a bit of the cedar, but it's not like, it's not like too strong because sometimes cedar scents can be like really overpowering and this one's a knot. It's like really blended together well. Oh, I like it. All right, so that's gonna be a great fall scent. Um, Hemingway. Nice, I am, I'm actually glad that that came back because I like it. <laughs> okay, next, ooh, I'm excited about this one. White Sands. So I hear a lot of people talking about this scent um, and I, I've been waiting for it to come. Okay, Scentsy says, night blooming jasmine, softened by coconut milk and rice, enveloped in the gentlest breeze. I love coconut scents, especially coconut milk scents. So this is one I anticipate I'm gonna love. Ooh, okay. All right. I don't know if I love this one. <laughs> oh no. All right, let's see, what's going on here? Okay, the night blooming jasmine. Yeah, it's very floral. It's very floral to my nose. Um, it is a sweet floral though, so I do like sweet florals. But I think I was expecting a little bit more like maybe coconut milk. There is creaminess though, so that's probably the coconut milk, just adding a creamy feel. And was, what else was in here? Rice? Don't really smell rice. But again, rice can be a creamy kind of a scent, um, like rice pudding. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to see how this does on warm to see if it's gonna be a little too floral or not to my nose, but oh, maybe I'm a little deflated with this scent. I don't know, we'll see how it does on warm. But yeah, um, I wasn't expecting it to be like that floral forward, at least to my nose, so I'm gonna have to see about that one. 
Okay, next is Southern Sweet Tea. And this is one that I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about it because it sounds intriguing, but also, ooh, I don't know, maybe a little scary. All right, Sensi says, a splash of heirloom peach, orange juice, and white tea. So it's like the white tea part that I'm not sure about, but I do like peach scents and I do like orange juice scents, so. Oh, okay, ow. Okay, I love the top. Like the top is peach and maybe orange juice. Get the white tea on the back. Okay, so I'm not sure about this one either. I'm gonna have to give it a warm. But yeah, and again, you cannot always judge everything on cold either. The scents develop when, when you're melting it, everything kind of, you know, comes together and it releases differently in the air. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I was a little like not sure about the, the white tea when I read the notes and I can, you know, I still feel that way. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see how it does on warm. I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to warm all of these scents and report back. Okay, next is Vanilla Suede. I may have smelled this one before, but if I did, it was a long time ago and I don't really remember. So Sensi says, classic vanilla with rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice, a subtly masculine fragrance. So not in the masculine scent, so I'm not sure. Do you like vanilla though? Oh. I like this one. Wow. Oh, this is pretty. So I think what I don't like about masculine scents as a whole are they tend to be like very cologne smelling, but I don't get cologne out of this at all. Oh, and I think that's why I like it. Yeah. So to me, it's like a deep, rich, woody vanilla kind of a scent like suede yeah almost like a like a stronger cashmere it's like it's actually like a warm inviting cuddly kind of a scent wow okay i like that one that that is a surprise that is a surprise for me um in a good way i like that okay next is rustic lodge Kind of like a army green colored wax and also a new to me scent. So Sensi says, warm fragrance of cedar, oak, and musk with traces of wood, smoke, and fallen leaves. Not sure how I'm gonna feel about this one because again, you've got the cedar, you've got the oak, you've got the fallen leaves and smoke. So we'll see. Honestly, I kind of like it. <laughs> I think this is going to be a good fall scent. Mm. So I'll say, you can kind of get like a vibe from the painted leaves, but to me it's a little, a little bit more subtle, not as like strong. And I think the musk is what's kind of rounding it all out together and kind of creating this just really nice, it's, it's like fall, but again, there's still some like prettiness to it. And I think it's the musk. Okay, that's nice. So I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, definitely gonna be a fall scent though, because there's nothing spring or summer about this. But yeah, nice. That is Rustic Lodge. I'm, I'm really surprised about that one. All right. And last but not least is my wish. It's a pretty purple colored wax. I have smelled this one before. Um, and it wasn't a favorite, but it wasn't a dislike either. It was just kind of like an okay scent. So we'll see how, how I feel about it now. All right, since he says, a confection of earthy fig, sweet violet, and playful marshmallow will have you wishing for more. So I think it was the violet that I was like, me about, but um, 
I love marshmallow scents. My nose has changed since I've smelled this. Oh. Yeah. I like this one. Mmm. So I get mostly marshmallow. Oh man. And fig. I do get fig. This is a sweet scent though. And I think that marshmallow. Oh my gosh. It's just like making us a fun, playful, kind of like fruity, bakery-ish, interesting scent. Um, violet leaf, I don't get that. I don't get the violet. The fig, don't really get like fig fig. It's just mostly marshmallow with some other stuff that I can't identify, but it's good. Oh, I like that. Um, nice, so. I'm excited because I was hoping I would like it like more this go round because it's been a few years since I've smelled it. Um, and I do. Yes. Okay. So that's it. Here's my little cheat sheet. Um, those are the scents. This is coming June 1st and, um, I'm excited about a lot of these bars. I think everybody did a really good job introducing like more scents that you know haven't been around for quite a while um few in there have been you know fairly recently here but um most of these i haven't seen a lot of people talking about so i'm excited so thank you so much for watching okay i want to know in the comments what your top five scents are that you think you're gonna like um i'm gonna tell you what mine are after smelling these my um my preference has changed. Uh, churro, churro. That's got to be my number one. I freaking love this bar. Uh, let's see. Happy birthday. Where is happy birthday? Yep. Love happy birthday. I figured that I would, and I do. Um, another surprise, my wish. Um, I like it a lot better than I did before. Uh, I definitely get like more of that marshmallow kind of a scent. Uh, okay. Plum and white woods, beautiful scent. Uh, figured that I would like it and I do. And let's see, I think we gotta go with good old fashioned watermelon patch. Cause I'm a fruity girl, fruity in bakery and this is a great fruity scent. So that would be my top five. Um, a little shocked that I don't love white sands, at least not on cold. And a um, few others in here that were kind of, you know, happy surprises and maybe a few like, hmm, I thought I'd like that better. So thank you so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.